Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to a statement from the General Staff of the French Army, Brazil and France recently concluded a joint amphibious exercise on Marambea Island. The exercise, part of the Jean d'Arc 2024 operation, involved military vehicles like the Griffin and the AAV-7, and saw the participation of approximately 2,250 military personnel, with 1,460 from the Brazilian Navy and 790 from the French Armed Forces. The operation comprised two main phases, a maritime phase from April 14 to 16, 2024, focusing on maritime drills and amphibious raids near the Marambea Island Training Center, and a subsequent phase from April 17 to 20, 2024, centered on port-based operations and logistics. The exercise saw the deployment of various ground, naval, and air assets from both nations. Brazil contributed assets like the multipurpose aircraft carrier Atlantico, the Liberal Frigate, and the Marambea General Cargo Landing Ship, along with a fleet of helicopters including the UH-12 Esquilo, UH-15 Super Cougar, and SH-16 Seahawk. France deployed the amphibious assault ship Tonnerre, the frigate Caprat, and helicopters like the Gazelle and Dauphin, alongside specialized amphibious troops. The broader context of the exercise includes the departure of the French amphibious assault ship Tonnerre and the frigate Caprat from Toulon Naval Base on February 19, 2024, as part of the annual Jean d'Arc mission. This mission, lasting 149 days, involves training for French Naval Academy cadets and operational engagements across South America, with multiple amphibious exercises planned across Brazil, Chile, and the United States, as well as 11 port visits. One significant aspect of the exercise was the deployment of armored vehicles such as the French Griffin and the Brazilian AAV-7. The Griffin, a versatile 6x6 armored vehicle, replaces the older vehicle de Elevant Blind VAB, and offers various configurations for troop transport, command post, artillery observation, and medical evacuation. Equipped with a remote-controlled weapon station, RCWS, it provides protection against various threats including small arms fire and IEDs. On the other hand, the AAV-7, utilized by the Brazilian Marine Corps, serves as a tracked amphibious vehicle for troop and equipment transport during amphibious assault operations, featuring updates over the years to enhance its capabilities in both land and water environments. That's all for now, see you later.